This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, have U.S. equity futures trading higher. The uh, U.S. Uh, the uh, ES Mini is up 27 points at seven tenths percent. Six tenths for the Dow, which is 192 points. Uh, eight tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 91 points. And the Russell's up seven tenths, which is up 11 points out there. Over in Asia last night, all markets closing higher. When I say all markets, the Nikkei, the Hang Seng, and the Shanghai, the Australian. 200 index had closed higher by seven tenths percent, two percent for the Hang Seng. Over in Europe, you've got the DAX up uh, about uh, eight tenths, and the FTSE is up one and seven tenths, 118. She's trading out at 71.39 out there. Gold is off seven bucks right now. Silver down 29 cents. Light sweet crude trading out at 106.49. That's up about two percent, or two dollars and 21 cents. And a 30-year Treasury is off 16 ticks, down about a half a point, trading out at 136.19. So what are we looking at out here? Well, one, we've got bullish conditions. We have all confirmed by the D-point patterns, with the exception of the Russell 2000. We're looking at the equity future contract, which has a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. What does that say? That says price should go target the first level of resistance. In the case of the ES Mini, that level of resistance is the top of its daily profile. That's at 3841. If we take a look at the Dow, she's going to go target 31360, and the Russell 2000 should go target 1772. It's not just the equity future contracts that have the buy the D-point pattern. It is the U.S. cash indices as well. So each of them has have completed patterns, and each of those suggest a further move higher. As we should switch screens here, we'll go take a look at the cash indices. The cash indices that we take a look at will show you these uh, red lines out there, that red squiggly line. That's referred to as the oscillator and change line. If price is able to close above that, which the Dow Jones did yesterday, the S&P did yesterday, the NASDAQ for its third consecutive session, the Russell stopped right at it, the semis are approaching it, the transports are approaching it, the NASDAQ composite closed above it, and the New York Stock Exchange is approaching it. Closes above a red oscillator and change line tell us that conditions are likely for a further move higher. And the further move higher would target the most recent swing point. In the case of the Dow, well, that's really going to be the June 15th high. If price is able to close above 31,011, that suggests that it wants to make a run for the 33,3 level out there. So, folks, conditions are bullish. Expect them to stay this way for the next two to three weeks. Stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien with the Morning Market Kickoff is up next. Thanks so much for joining us here at TFN. I'll see you next Monday at 1 o'clock uh, during the normal Trader's Ed show. Have a